But with that being said, he was at his, you know, beginning stages. It right. wasn't no need for me to, you know, do nothing with him. I wasn't gonna get nothing out of it. But right. at the end of the day, I'm pro Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Chief the shit starter. <laughs> chief the but, goddamn man. disgruntled chief, man. Yeah, they say I'm the old angry they, rapper. They said you the old angry <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga that rapper, just hating man. on it. You Joe yeah. Budden right now. Yeah, yeah, I can't even say nothing, man. Now, hey, what it is is uh, uh people been seeing you more now than lately. You know, of course the tape drop, but they've been seeing outside the music. You Google Don Chief right now. You're gonna see the music. But you're gonna see a couple of interviews, right, a couple, right. you know, it's like now you, you get it, you get it more active. And mind you, that was one thing that a long time ago that people you would they'll see you on a couple of DVDs around the city. Uh they'll see you on the radio, uh, you know, K1049, you know, you'll go and do you'll do your spots and they'll see you at shows. Other than that, you're gonna get them on the e greedy, you're gonna get them on the music. But now it's like, you know, then the blogs start kind of coming around Dallas. Yeah. They want they didn't have access to you yeah. early on. They didn't have access to you. Even we was trying to like, oh, like yo, gee, we didn't have access at first, but now you, now your story is kind of coming through, and there's reasons why there's, there's reasons why you outspoken right now. We are gonna get through it, but man, man, hold on, I gotta, I, get, I, get straight to it, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 I gotta ask. So what? The Sean kind of situation, right? Right. right um, right. you touched on you doing an interview for him, um, kind of when he was on his rise. Right. Um, at that, can you paint the picture like how hot were you? I mean, scene. that was just coming off of the the uh, the Birdman situation, kind of. Right, right. With, so you was like the hottest yeah, thing so, smoking you know, in the city. The ball, the ball had got back in my court. You, that was like my second run. You know what right. I'm saying? That's 2013, right. you know, 14, like when, when the Super Bowl came, 2012, right. 13. So that was kind of considered like my second run. So uh, <clears throat> my guy Keo, I was dealing with him. And uh, so we could just pay, pass it back, you know, seven, seven years, eight years ago. Yeah. I mean, what y'all was doing, you right. know what I'm saying? For what sure. platform would that give me any blogger that was bumping and jumping seven, six, seven, eight years ago? So that's how long that was. So, you know, with that being said, he was at his, you know, beginning stages. It right. wasn't no need for me to, you know, do nothing with him. I wasn't going to get nothing out of it. But right. at the end of the day, I'm pro Dallas, you know what I'm saying? So, right. uh, you know. <laughs> so, right on, so, well, it, so, so the question is this, man. Uh, you know, the the word is that man he he was ambushed when he came in to sit down oh, on the wait, podcast. Before you, even, before you even get to that, because I got a question. But okay, so you did the interview with him, right? Right, right. I got a question. What is the proper proper protocol for when you do look out for somebody early, and now they rise and they should give it back and, and give it and pay it for it? What do you think? <laughs> What was your issue with the whole situation? I mean, for one, I'm a person who 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 live and is built off morals, principles, respect. You know what I'm saying? And Thanks. and I come from uh, 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 the streets. You know, my my game came from the streets. So you know, we live by the code. You know, if you look out for me, I'm gonna look out for you. You know what I'm talking about? So that's just pretty much how you know I conduct my business. You know, it don't have to be right then and there. When I look out for you, you know, it's just you know, it ain't no expiration date on the love. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that don't mean that you know, ten years later, you know, if we bumping down, you know, if I did something significantly significant enough for you to you know that you feel was significant enough for you then you know I feel like you just should have that kind of you know re that, that kind of love in return but a lot of people don't live off of those morals and principles and respect like that you know yeah, what I'm definitely. saying so you know I can't speak for everybody you know everybody ain't like me that's just what definitely. I live by them decrees them the things that I go by Man, so, you know, seeing that, uh, I believe it was a, a podcast that you had with, um, I believe, Charleston White Rainwater showed up and Say Cheese was brought into this fold. And uh, watching the Boss Talk one-on-one -on -one interview with Say Cheese, and of course, shout out Boss Talk, uh, to see what he was saying, like he felt it was an ambush as far as coming into the situation. It was like more so Chief Say Cheese, you know, what what what's going what happened you ain't you know where where's the flowers you know what i'm saying i mean i've been here and you know there's a certain protocol um was that your intention coming in to do that podcast as far as uh because i think that was like that was episode number what that was the that was the second so it's second like episode the, yeah it's uh, so it's like this real i mean the the podcast is called e greedy tv 
So it's that's my brand. That's me. So I'm a part of the whole the whole thing. So when you got when you got people who who are significant in the game and in the city, like a say cheese or a rainwater, people who got position right now. Uh, you know, I feel it's just my just right to reach out to them. Hey, man, let's sit down and wrap a taste. But not only that, I already got history with you guys. So with me being off the radar and me wanting to know, like, you know, I'm, you know, and I want to know where is the issue with me asking for the love that I gave. Like, that's the problem where I'm trying to see, like, dang, where the problem is? Like, if I did something for you, where, I'm, where am I tripping for saying, hey, what's happening? You remember this? I'm trying to work now. It ain't like I'm on no handout. I'm like, hey, I'm working. You know, and me per personally, I feel like, you know, the respect was then. It should be will still open and, 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 and embracing the respect they should be giving now, even though they situation changed. So I'm like, shit, they'll be looking at it like, oh, shit, let me goddamn me look at it and see what OG talking about. Because, you know, he came and paid the way for us. He showed us love when we was goddamn me, right, you know, doing things. But I guess they don't look at it like that. You know what I'm fans wanted to know, like, they... And I can't, and you know fans what? Fans didn't want to know what's why. I can't help it that they didn't speak on it the right way. See, it's just it's just a problem because I'm having to come and speak on it. They had all the opportunities to speak on it. All the bloggers kind of, you know, from the Terry Blues and the Big D. -Mo, I don't even know these boys, and it's like, uh, you know, I think they all came along kind of in the era when Mo and Yellow, when all the youngsters was coming. So they wouldn't even they wasn't even on my radar. You know what I mean? And, and for them to speak how they be speaking. I be like, y'all from out of town. Y'all just speaking so fluently. Like y'all know exactly what's going on. And I know y'all didn't fuck with me. Y'all probably was babies. You know what I'm saying? So same thing with Rain and Say Cheese. I mean, Rainwater and uh, Say Cheese. It's like, shit, you know, I fuck with y'all. Y'all know I fuck with y'all. So I'm just reaching out on some, doing the proper protocol. Hey, I've been off the scene for a little while. Hey, these the guys that's moving and grooving. Let me reach out to him. It just so happened that, hey, we just got history, but they forget. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah.